In your childhood did you dream of becoming a fighter pilot? Hi, nice to see you on this channel. Do you remember the iconic game River Ride coming from the era of Atari 8-bit platform? Who hasn't spent a lot of time on evenings and sometimes at night flying fighter jet as far as possible, achieving next and next bridges and shooting down enemy planes, helicopters, tankers and balloons? Of course you had to be careful about the fuel supply all the time. You played alone or with a friend and the joysticks were almost red hot. For viewers who don't remember 8-bit computer times, I will just add that despite the limited capabilities of the devices there and very simple graphics for today's times, the game was able to really engage and to provide weeks and sometimes even months of entertainment. It was released by Activision first for the Atari 2600 console and then next versions for Atari 5200 console, all 8-bit Atari computers, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, MSX, IBM PC, IBM PC Junior in television. Would you like to play it again? Then take a look better at which computer I'm playing it. Can you already see what is untypical? A modern monitor, a contemporary laptop and not Atari 8-bit? Yes, it is an Atari emulator. Installation and configuration is very simple and takes no more than a quarter. So let's move back at low cost in the era of old computers. I'm using an emulator called Atari 800. Four steps are necessary. Atari ROM images download, the code of the computer's operating system, something like Windows or Linux today for the less oriented. Emulator itself download, installation, configuration. The emulator itself is licensed under the GPL, which means it is available under a free license and as an open source software. The project website also contains the statement mentioning ROM files are legally available. Please remember, however, before downloading any utilities or games, always make sure that you can do it legally and within the term of the license. In particular, Producers of some Atari games made them available to everyone, but still most of games are not available for free of charge and only for those who bought them legally in the past. Please remember that you are doing this at your own risk. Check the legal issues before downloading in order not to infringe the copyright. Getting to the point. First, it's best to create a directory on the disk with the selected name, for example Atari 800. You should download the ROM files and put them in the previously created directory. The downloaded file should be unpacked first, preferably to a subdirectory named ROM. It is a good idea to create an additional subdirectory at the same time for Atari 8-bit programs, for example called software. Next you have to download the emulator files and again it's the best to put them in the created previously Atari 800 directory in the subdirectory for example emulator. Depending on the operating system you have to download the appropriate version. I'm using Ubuntu Linux so I'm downloading the dep file. Continuing I'm installing it on the system. Installation is not necessary on Windows. Please just run the exe file from the unpacked archive. After starting the emulator, you need to configure it. Please enter the menu by pressing F1 key and then please go to the emulator configuration, next system ROM settings and then find ROM images in the directory. Here one can see the computer's file system. 
it is required to select a 3800 ROM subdirectory where the downloaded ROM files are stored. To confirm the choice, press the space key. Now one should go back to the emulator settings menu and choose configure directories and further directories with Atari software. Here one have to select Atari 800 software directory and again confirm the choice with the space key. In this subdirectory you should save the games or utilities files for Atari 8-bit downloaded from the internet. In the beginning this subdirectory will be of course empty. Finally, it is worth making sure that the option Save Configuration on Exit is set to Yes. In this situation, any changes to the emulator configuration will be saved at Exit. And of course, you should save the emulator configuration. The system is ready for operation. From where to download games and utilities? This is a topic for a longer discussion, and maybe even for another video. Internet search engines will definitely help here. Contrary to their appearances, there are many such websites. Some examples are provided in the description below the video. Just please remember that the files with the software should be unpacked after download. In the emulator, they can be run after pressing the F1 key and entering Run Atari program function. Finally, a little cheat sheet on Qology F1 Emulator Main Menu. F2 option for the less oriented the hardware key on Atari computers used to select various options, for example, the game level for beginners for advanced players. F3 select, like before, usually used to move between menu items. In some games, the option and select keys do exactly the same thing or their exact operation is indicated on the screen. F4 Start, just like before, it is used to start the game to confirm the selection, etc. F5 Reset Warm Start, restart the computer but without erasing the memory contents. Shift plus F5 Reboot Cold Start, computer restart but with erasing the memory contents. F6 Help, in theory it should display user manual, for example how to play, in practice quite often it usually doesn't work. F9 Emulator Exit. So is it now time to play River Ride? Certainly yes. Have a long evening with your new old computer. Or perhaps old new computer. Stay healthy. Thank <laughs> you.